Virgo. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> welcome to your October reading of this current year, 2019. Yay. Newcomers and return visitors. Welcome, welcome. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your charts if this resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it is just a card game. Might work, it might not work. Just boop your nose, away we goes, and away we goes. Right? Right. Also, if you want a personal from me, all the info is in the description box below. Newcomers, first readings on the house. And I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Yes. Let's see, Virgo, there you are, sitting on your shit, just being like, I cleaned this place, and now it is sacred and holy, you know, that's your, your feeling, but then the situation, hmm, well, <coughs> someone might be a little bit controlling of your house, <coughs> <clears throat> oh my god, with this cough. Damn, I hate getting sick, man. That It always happens when I get sick. I just don't breathe for a few months afterwards. It's tragic. But, I don't have to deal with allergies, so that helps. You know? Okay, what you're wanting and wishing for? Some neighborhood witch bitches to get their shit for gossiping and talking nonsense. It could also be a third party situation that led to a breakup coming to a disastrous end. It could also be like some negative influences that no longer serve you that you're trying to get away from as well. The obstacle and challenge with that though is the lack of communication and reaching out with the star. It could be with an Aquarius, right? Oh, also Virgo also could be Taurus or a Capricorn. Leo, Sag, Aries, right? And cross watch your switch where you need to, because I have no idea what's going on. I'm just a messenger. Place your stuff where you need to and leave the rest with a pound of salt, because a grain ain't gonna do it. Now let's see. Prince us of pentacles in the fear of rejections. A possible offer, pregnant with possibilities, right? And then we got a Capricorn down here, the devil reverse. Someone's trying to get away from the energy that's bad for them. Like, fuck if it's a good offer. Look at all the more of the purple. Like, they're both purple. It's like the same motherfucker. There's something there that just isn't vibing correctly, and, and it's like someone's picking that up. It's the same fucking color, right? Beginning theme. Justice. Head over heart. Decision. Virgo. My, my, my. Some, this dude might have had a third party, and that's why you're separating from them for the better, right? At the same time, you're trying to delegate whether you should reach out, and you're afraid of even touching this because you don't even know if it's your baby daddy. Or if you're the baby daddy, you're just kind of like confused, maybe. Hmm, that's possible. You know what? Somebody else had something about pregnancy. Who was it? Was it cancer? I think it was cancer, maybe. Or it could be wrong. I don't know. I talk out of my ass a lot. But anyway, it was somebody. I don't know who it was, but it was somebody. It was something about pregnancy just popping up out of nowhere. Hmm. That is a possibility, though. Let's see. King of Pentacles, right? You feel like someone just didn't appreciate your ass, and now you're just like, you know what? I'm just gonna take this cup and go elsewhere, you son of a bitch. I don't give a fuck if you walked away. You're gonna miss my ass once you think about it. You know? You're letting death come and, like, take away all that shit that made you a little bit insecure. Like, it don't even matter. Like, you kind of want to protect your coin from death, but at the same time, it's like, you know what? My feelings aren't worth a shit right now. You know, this king of wands in the situation, he don't let you get no sleep and is always, like, up your ass about something. Something. And you just want to pour your cup out and just be like, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done feeling this way. Or he's pouring his cup out when it comes to you, just emotionally dumping all over you. Expecting you to take everything that he says or does 
or she says or does or whatever it's just like it's it's like a control freak kind of nature it's like they keep bringing up the same subject to see what your reaction is every time just to get the same emotional feelings they were getting before and it's just like you know can we talk about something other than this like we've mentioned this 37 times and you've probably counted virgo because i can see you doing that shit what you're wanting and wishing for the neighborhood which bitches to get their sweet sweet karma you know they're leaping over shit they haven't tripped up yet but you know with all the tricks that are being played all you have to do is sit there blindfolded and, and then like just listen for one of them to die because eventually they're going to turn on each other you don't even need to spectate what's going on here they'll just go ahead and screw themselves up because they're too busy like showing off their shit or whatever or go that's how you're kind of feeling at this point or maybe that's how someone's feeling about you I don't know, or maybe you feel blindsided that everyone's making decisions without you too and you want to take some action but there's really nothing much you can do like you can't even see what's going on between these people um, the oh my god obstacle and challenge coming against you just lack of communication you want to give like you're a giver you like helping people. Even if it means spending your last time, you think it's fair to help people. Because you like to give. Um, but sometimes you're giving back a dead fucking fish and you're just like, what the hell? What? Okay, I mean, like, I like fish, but, like, I, I, you could have prepared it a little bit for me. I don't need the whole fish with the organs and shit. You could have descaled it or something. But thank you. I, I, I appreciate it. Like, you get a fish back despite the fact of how much you give to people, I feel like. But I feel like you, you're you scared either that's an obstacle to not communicate that or the obstacle is getting over that communication because you're just confused on like why you keep getting fish when you pay money to people. Like, is this how the law of attraction works? You get fish instead of fundage? Is fish the new gold? You know, it, it makes you wonder sometimes, right? The fear of rejection, this pregnant offer which has the same vibration and color as the devil. I just want to point that out. You know, just saying. Oh, it's Mr. Control Freak. He squashed that lizard just to demonstrate how powerful he is. And it's kind of like you already knew that's how they were. Like you had a key. You had the keys to know exactly what kind of person this was. That's why you're afraid of this offer from them, or this person is afraid of that offer from you. But it's like a fire sign, a water sign. Could be a Pisces, could be a Leo, Sag, or Aries for sure. But this person has a lot of problem with judgment and ego too, and it's like you saw that in them. Like you saw it in them a while ago, and it's just kind of like you know it was like a psychic attack. It was just like oh shit, this person's gonna act up. I better keep an eye on them. And then it's just like boom, premonition proven, right? So we got the devil reverse, and I feel like you're trying to get away from this maniac a little bit. Because you know that they're full of nothing but spite when it comes to injustice. Like, they have bad karma on them. You can smell it. And you don't need the tower to strike twice, especially if it's coming your way. You do not need that shit for a second time. At all. Because it's like, if you try to stick around with this person, um, they're going to punish you unfairly. And then the tower's going to come to show you the exact same lesson again that you just saw with the high priestess. Your intuition told you that this would fucking happen. Ooh, two cards came out. Yeah, your, your intuition told you this shit was going to happen. Um, whether you listen to it or not, I don't know. Um, but you got to make a head over a hard decision on either killing this shit full out or continuing to fight a demon over and over again before bed at nine on a Wednesday night every time you know like are you gonna live with this shit or are you gonna move on triumphantly because following your heart will leave you like haunted for a while and you've already seen what's gonna happen you already seen that he has no problem hurting things that are weaker than him right or you can use your brain and just kill this shit before it like it stems into something really bad that you don't want to be involved in right you've been putting like something valuable into this shit to be fair you got back a dead fish this person emotionally dumps on you, but they don't let you get the chance that you need in order to recover. And then they just take off. 
making you feel like you gotta hang on or some shit, and you're just kind of like, you know what, maybe I will let death have this shit. You know, I'll, I'll just be a bystander and see how shit does with this idiot who wants to jump hoops for me, you know? Yeah, you're gonna stand by yourself as the Queen of Pentacles, right? And look at what options are actually before you, Virgo. But you ain't taking that damn offer from this guy. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Any you're going you'll go for the door before you ever take any offer associated with this coin. You don't want an infestation. Period. Hell, you'll drop your fucking coin and leave if that means you get away from that person, you know? Keep that in mind, Virgo. But that's the read I got for you. Do 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 do. So there you go, Virgo. Um, I hope this helps you all out. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, but no pressure, of course. Once again, if you want a personal description box. Not all the way down, but pretty far down. As down as you wish to go. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Love your faces. Bye-bye.